some pretty cool astro shots. Been doing basically two images, two in the foreground first, painting it with um, my light, and then taking a photo of myself with my head torch pointing in the sky. Hopefully it turns out alright, I've got probably two or three, I think, that'd be decent shots that I think I could use. But we'll go back to the editing room and see if it works. That's what you do for a photo. Head out at quarter to eleven at night and take photos. And by the way, I can't see where I'm walking. I'm literally shining this light in my face so that you can see me, but I can't see where I'm walking, so yeah. Fall off the edge of a cliff. You know why? <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so it's the next day now. I'm gonna jump on the computer to have a look at these photos I took last night. All right, so this is the original uh, image that I that I shot. The final photo is a stacked uh, Photoshop image. So it's two photos basically to achieve this look that I had here. Um, and basically I shot the foreground and just lit the foreground a little bit or light painted it. And I took a secondary exposure to get myself in the photo and the sky. Um, obviously I couldn't light paint uh, the photo while I was standing in the shot because I shot this all myself. So this here is the original image. The purpose of this video is to show you how to get your Milky Way to look, you know, that classic sort of, you know, blue sky with the, you know, those sort of warm, uh, purpley sort of tones that really, really highlight the uh, Milky Way there. So, yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll start with this image. So basically, I edited this from scratch. I did make a preset for it, but I'll run through with you exactly what I did to achieve sort of that look and the adjustments that I made to the Milky Way itself so that you can get the same sort of image as I got. So, <clears throat> first off, it's obviously too warm. I shot this with auto white balance. I shot raw, so uh, when you shoot raw, it doesn't matter what white balance you choose. I highly suggest that you shoot raw because it won't matter what white balance you shoot at because you can literally change this white balance to whatever you want it to be. So first of all, I want to make it a bit cooler. So I brought this down to about, what have we got here? Somewhere around there, that looks, that looks pretty good to me. That's how I perceived the way the Milky Way to look and the sky to look, so I'm pretty happy with that um, with that temperature. I will bring up the tint a little bit. I do want to get a little bit of those sort of purples, and we're going to try and enhance this as well. Uh, you can see it's definitely there, but it's uh, yeah, it could definitely be a lot more prominent. On to the second thing, I'm just going to probably brighten it up just a little bit, probably somewhere around there. Uh, and I want to make it a bit more punchy, so just bear in mind I'm editing for the sky and for myself I'm not actually worried about this section down here because I have a second image that I'm going to use to actually paint this in. I'm going to bring the contrast up just a little bit, uh, probably somewhere around there. I'm probably going to leave the shadows. I'm going to bring the white sections of the Milky Way to really pop, so I'll bring that up to plus 24. I'm probably going to leave the blacks where they are. I'll bring the clarity up a little bit just to give it that bit more of a pop. So everything I'm doing is to basically accentuate this. I'm gonna bring the saturation up to just get a bit more color out of it. It is it is looking a little bit bland so far, so I'm gonna bring that right up there. Okay, so basically this adjustment I've done now, it's pretty well colors tones, contrast is pretty much where I want. I'd, so at this point, I want to get the Milky Way to sort of pop out a little bit more. So if you look at sort of this image here, you can see it. Now you can see in that image there, you can tell it's a Milky Way photo, but I really want it to stand out when people look at it as a thumbnail. So if they're clicking on it or you know scrolling through and seeing a photo like that, I want them to look at it and go, oh wow, that's, you know. So basically to do these adjustments, I'm just going to jump over to the image that I actually edited originally just because I've done the adjustments and I'll show you what I did. So as you can see, this Milky Way here looks a lot more punchy than uh, that first one that we had. I really sort of brought out, oops, sorry. I really sort of brought out all the, all the darks and all the lights in the actual Milky Way itself. Uh, so starting off, I'm just gonna run through everything. So this first little adjustment I did, so got the paintbrush. Uh, and I started to paint in 
uh, if you can see there, basically all the dark sections in the Milky Way. So the reason for this is I want to make this as contrasty and punchy as possible so that it pops. So that way it, you know, it's one of the standout features of the photo. So once you've painted it all in, um, look, I've, I've dropped this down to minus 27. As you can see, it darkens it up a little bit. Uh, the second thing that I did, I did the exact opposite. So I painted all the highlighted sections, so all these white sort of milky sections of the Milky Way. I painted uh, through all of them. Um, and then I brought the highlights up. So I set that to about uh, plus 19. Obviously, depending on the exposure on your photo that you've taken, it can vary a bit. So I would just play it by ear and just look at it visually to see uh, if it's you know the way that you want it. Um, and then finally, the third adjustment that I did uh, was I painted over the whole of the Milky Way and I added a uh, color adjustment to it. So once you, so basically with this, instead of having it, um, instead of having it as a very small brush, um, I made the brush a lot bigger and actually feathered the edge of the brush so that it wasn't such a harsh edge. Now the purpose of this, this adjustment was to put a bit of a color cast into it. So if you look, in here, um, I selected a color that was sort of down in this lower third and kind of more towards like an orange uh, sort of color. So if you if you look at the, I'll just take the adjustment off, it'll also take off the other adjustments, but as you can see, when I click it on and off, it's just brought like a, I don't know how to explain it, it's almost like an orangey, orangey purple sort of color out of it, which is, I mean, in my opinion, whenever I see a photo of a Milky Way, that's, that's how I envision it looking. So as you can see, those adjustments that we've done have really made that stand out and actually, you know, when you look at it, looking at it at this, uh, as a small image, you go, oh wow, okay, yep, no, that's the Milky Way. Definitely, definitely stands out. So once that is all done, I basically copied and pasted uh, the settings from this image and basically copied them over to the background image, which I'm not gonna bother adjusting the Milky Way in the background image because all I need from this image is this lower sort of section just here with these highlights there. Um, so at that point, I brought both of those photos over into Photoshop and I stacked the images and blended them. So I, I basically popped uh, this image underneath the other one and then just made a layer mask and painted in all of this section here I'm not going to get into that too much in this video. This is purely just to show you uh, how to get uh, The Milky Way to sort of you know look the way that it does in this photo But yeah, the final image is This one that you're seeing on screen now as you can see the section I painted down the bottom I didn't, I didn't paint it at full opacity. I, so with the brush, you can actually change a setting called flow in Photoshop and it just allows it to not put like a, you know, like a full bleed of what's underneath through it. It's almost like changing the opacity that you can use it with a brush. So I did that just to give it a little bit of light in the foreground, just to give it some context as to where you were, but I still wanted myself silhouetted out. So, um, yeah. Now with this head torch here, I did actually enhance this in Photoshop a little bit. It's actually quite simple to do. All you have to do is create a brush um, and brush in over, so I had a beam that was coming out of there already, but I just basically enhanced it by uh, brushing in a color, which was that I basically eye dropped from the middle of here, which is that color, and just faded it out and kept gradually decreasing the flow until it sort of faded off into nothing up here. Um, but yeah, it's one of those, iconic, um, well, I guess they're pretty cliche now, these head torch astro photos, but thought I'd do it anyway, because it was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I hope you learned something from this. And But anyway, if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. Anyway, peace.